He thought he was indispensable. He thought he would not die. He has died by defying the world order, by defying uh, the, the COVID regulations, and by trying to tell the whole world that his word was indispensable. I wish he was around to hear these words. May God bless him, wherever he is. But um, even if he's gone now, the kind of example he has exhibited, the other East African leaders should learn from it. Because what he has done, he has betrayed the world order, he has betrayed the World Health Organization during this pandemic, where each and every leader in the world is asking their citizens to abide by the regulations of COVID, to minimize the death. You could see the Prime Minister of England, when he contracted COVID, he came out and he told the entire nation that, look, this is not good. This is what you have to do. We are also trying to ask African leaders not to follow into Magufuli's examples, because what Magufuli has done has shown the whole world how reckless leadership can lead to. His recklessness has ashamed Africa. People say that when one dies, people should say good things, they should, what the person has been doing. But it's also good at the same time to pinpoint that the errors the dead has.